Thanks, Marianne. Hey, let's make some orange cranberry muffins, okay? These are easy to make, they're delicious, and they're great for brunches. The first thing we need to do for to get our muffins ready is preheat our oven at 350 degrees, okay? Then I want you to get your muffin tins ready. Go ahead and line them or spray them lightly, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is sift our dry ingredients. I have three cups of flour here, one tablespoon of uh, baking powder, and one and a half teaspoons of salt, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and sift that. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cream one third cup of butter, it's very soft in the room temperature here, with one and a half cups of uh, granulated sugar, okay? So I'm gonna just put this in my, uh, my stand-up mixer with my paddle and I'm gonna cream this, okay? While that's creaming, I'm gonna go ahead and whisk the rest of my wet ingredients, okay? In here I have two thirds cup of buttermilk, I have one tablespoon of vanilla and a third cup of, uh, of canola oil, okay? To this, I'm gonna whisk in three eggs, okay? Really, what takes the most here is getting all your stuff prepared. You know, your dry ingredients, your wet ingredients, your pan, etc. Once you have everything, this is quite easy to make, okay? So this is what's gonna happen. I'm going to cream the butter and the sugar, and then I'm gonna add all the, the rest of these wet ingredients, okay? Then I'm gonna add the sifted flour and the baking powder and the salt, okay? I'm not gonna beat it to death, I'm just gonna make sure it just gets all uh, mixed and then I'm gonna turn off my, my, uh, my beater. Then we'll fold in the cranberries and the orange zest, okay? Okay, so I will be back to you once I have all my wet ingredients mixed with my dry and we'll uh, finish the muffins and um, put them in the oven. Okay, so I'll see you soon. Here's our batter. It's nicely, you know, uniformly blended together, okay? Um, as I told you, all I did was, once I put my dry ingredients in there, let it all get blended, and that's it. I turned it off, okay? All right, so now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to fold into this two tablespoons of orange zest. You know, in case you don't know, zest is simply grated peel, but without the white membrane, okay? Just the top. Two tablespoons was two big oranges. And I'm also going to fold in two cups of cranberries, okay? So I'm just going to very carefully fold this in and we'll uh, fill up our, uh, our muffin pan. Alright, so we're going to scoop about two-thirds of batter in each one of these little cups. I'm using an ice cream scoop just because I think it's easier. You can use a spoon or whatever you want, but about two thirds full. After you've done that, I'd like you to just sprinkle a little bit of granulated sugar on top of each muffin, okay? So your, your muffin top's going to be nice and, and uh, crunchy. So I'm going to finish doing this and I'll put them in the oven and we'll bake them for about 30-35 minutes. Of course you have an oven preheating at 350 so that should be nice and warm. Okay, so I'm going to see you guys after I take these out of the oven. They're going to be ready when I put my cake pin, you know I have one of these little cake pins, through it and no batter comes up. So I will see you when these are baked. Okay, my friends, these muffins are ready, okay? They baked for 30 minutes and they're ready. I could have made less than a dozen and had them a little taller if I fill the cups a little more, but I have 12, they're not perfect, it's okay, this isn't a professional bakery, <laughs> but they are very, very good, they smell amazing. I'm gonna leave them in the tin for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and put them on a cooling rack Okay, and, and we're gonna eat them. They are really, really good, I'm sure. My friends, cranberry orange muffins from thefrugalchef.com. Make sure you come and visit us. We have all kinds of recipes that are not in video form. Eat well without going broken. I will see you guys soon.